the first powerhouse in Nepal from 1911. So they have celebrated about uh, 100 years, even 10 years ago. They were generating like 500 kilowatt. Still functions, but the water supply corporation, they have taken water for drinking purpose. See the village up there and the landscape in the area. So this was started in 1911, the first powerhouse. A viewpoint uh, below the Nido Monastery. See the farmland all up here. Right now is uh, the terrace is full of wheat. People are still working. Probably they will plant maize after taking out the wheat. Then they will again go for like uh, rice. See the view of the villages. So when someone has a time or a free day near the monastery, they can visit this village with a landscape. Okay. Beautiful farmland for the area. Neither monastery inside, which I think the Buddha second. Check the decorations. Beautiful decorations. So here is the Nido Monastery. Up here, nearby Farping, they even have a accommodation, the complex of Nido Monastery. See the monks looking after a blueberry. There is a small berry tree up there, so they like to take the berry. There is a apple tree. The crow is making a noise. Okay. Take all this. Beautiful monastery with the Buddha Sakyamuni inside. This type up here. Huh? There's the berry. So they are having all this berry. Enjoying. Wow, very nice. The monastic life up here in Parpi. Okay. 
The forest of Hatiban, all pine trees from the Nido Monastery. You can see all here. And here is the main shrine hall from the eastern side. Yes. So today is Saturday. Monks having a free time here in the monastery. So they don't have to go for education today. Uh, stupa in different uh, perspective. This belongs to the Sake Monastery. It's one of the beautiful Istupa constructed here in Corpic. See all the way to the top. Golden Carousel. All as well. One of the biggest statue of Guru Rinpoche popular by the name Padma Sambhava, Dalu area next to Parping. It's a part of the monastery around. Take the prayer wheels, the prayer flags, prayer wheel normally inside. They got, and even they put a prayer flag up to the hills. It's a pine forest all around. Greenery right now, it's a spring season. I take this more residence up here for the people. So we are here in Dalu again to see this popular figure of the Guru Rinpoche. This is a modern structure though. They have completed just a few years back. The Sesanarayan Temple Complex with the temple for Vishnu here in the middle. Oh, see the stalactites coming up, coming from up there. And there are like a small temples everywhere. And you can see the bell, as they ring the bell when they visit the temple. So, people offer a uh, water lamps when they visit the temple. And there is a cave inside. Guru Rinpoche cave. So Buddhist shrine together with the Hindu shrine. All this. Guru Rinpoche cave. Okay. Nice. Okay, okay. So they have made a stupa in the complex of Nida Monastery. See all with the prayer flags. Beautiful, colorful prayer flags in the monastery complex. There are a lot of prayer wheels at the bottom. So we are here in the complex of the monastery. And there is a monastery belongs to Ningmapa up here. And here is a temple for Saraswati inside. It's in situ. They have met Saraswati and Ganesh temple. So for King Saraswati. See the beautiful decorations. Small chapels everywhere. See the offerings? Buddha's head has a different family they have brought and donated to this place. The way going up where they keep all these uh, prayer flags 
and the Asura cave with the monastery up there. The monastery is also considered as a retreat center. People stop there participating in different types of retreat programs. All this, the steps, clean, recently cleaned up as well. The steps going up to the Asura camp with all beautiful prayer flags on the way. Mostly they are made out of cotton, but some of them right now with silk and other type of materials as well. So they all come with uh, prayers for the respective Buddhas. So they represent like five different Buddha. And here is one of the cave temple up there. So they are for uh, butter lamps. So we are here at the highest point of Forpi where they keep hanging all these prayer flags and in the center where they burn the incense see from where we came and uh, there is a view of Farping village so that's a whole Farping village and uh, including Nido Monastery at the end of the white building okay. and far behind is Kathmandu the valley of Kathmandu you can see from this place we are just above the Asura cave so later we are going for the Asura cave from here okay. view of perfect <laughs> there is a way going down towards the Badra Yogini temple one of the popular Yogini temple from Kathmandu or from Parping so there are like three more Badra Yogini temples in Kathmandu one is Bijeshwari another one is Goyeshwari and one more located in the northern part of Kathmandu at Sahu. So this temple there are a lot of people who do meditations inside the temple where we are going. So here is the Bhadra Yogini temple in Parpin, 11th century temple with the newer architecture. The main priest in the temple is from Patan. So they have a picnic program and a worship program by a local people. So the Asura cave in Purping, a great center for like enlightenment, a religious center where Guru Rinpoche, Padma Swambhava, has done meditation.
So still people do medication inside and uh, you can see the handprint of Guru Rinpoche. Every day it's gone like this. So Rinpoche crossed Nepal and reached Tibet in 774. The people visiting. Nuns. Come around, who? Who is there? Who is there? So, nuns entering. The Rinpoche. Asura Cave. Rinpoche is Asura Cave. Up here. So, this is one of the major highlights in Furby. People offer a water lamps. You can see the footprints. So they are very well, big and All that. So we are here at the highest point of Furpy, where they keep hanging all these prayer flags, and in the center where they burn the incense see from where we came and uh, there is a view of Farping village so that's a whole Farping village and uh, including Nido monastery at the end of the white building and far behind is Kathmandu, the valley of Kathmandu. You can see from this place. We are just above the Asura cave. So later we are going for the Asura cave from here. Okay. View of Purpi. So heading back from our Purpi tour, we've done the major highlights of Purpi. Now going to get a uh, transport from down there. So this is a strict end of the tour from Farping.